Hey everyone, welcome back to our AutoCAD Civil 3D class. So today I am adding another video to the road corridor videos that I have been doing. And this video will be the fourth one. So on the first video, I showed you guys how to compose an assembly, how to do a horizontal profile and also a vertical profile. On the second video, I showed you guys how to do uh, multiple um, cross sections using sample lines and on the third video I showed you guys how to do alignment setting out and put it on a, on a table and today I will be showing you guys how to do uh, long sections alrighty let's get right into it so first thing first that you are going to do you're gonna go on your output tab there's one here that says output you click on it Maybe let me give you guys a background story. So Civil 3D has what we call Sheet Set Manager. Um, I think they created this element because they've realized that populating long sections, it's, it, it can be tedious on a long road. So let's say you are designing for a longer road and after you design your design, now you have to come and do long section along the road you have to say okay the first drawing fits from chain edge zero to maybe chain edge 520 then the second you know it can be tedious so what sheet set manager does it's it's that it creates the long sections for you you just have to make sure that you put them on your uh, drawing title block and also that you fix up here and there the north arrow sits right but everything else will be created for you so on the output tab you come under create view frames you click on it and then it says you must choose the alignment that you want to create your long sections for so in our case we only have one alignment i click on it and then it asks you to select station range I always prefer to do it automatic because the moment you say user specified is the same as now going and recreating every like every sheet separately. If you come and you say, no, I want to create a sheet from chain age zero to chain age 200, for example, and you know, it's just going to be a lot of work. Um, I'm going to leave it at automatic. We go to, you click next. So next, it's asking you, do you want to create plan and profile on this sheet or you want to do plans only or, or profile only? So we all know that um, the contractor wants to hold your drawing that has both a plan and a profile. Remember, the reason why we are, we are doing this long section is to show the contractor the v vertical um, alignment on site. Are we going up a hill? Are we going down, you know? All those are shown on your plan layout. So it's always best to show both the plan and profile. And then um, the one, okay, then if you click on this one that says temp template for plan sheet, basically here you have to choose your paper size and also your paper size and your scale. So I'm gonna leave it at one in a 500 with A1 paper size. Some people use A0, you, you click the one that says A0. And then on the next one, it asks you, do you want your view frames to rotate along alignment or to rotate to north? Do you see the difference? Along alignment, they look as the alignment is curving and all of that. I'll, I'll, I'll rotate to north. Everything will still look upright. I'm going to leave it at along alignment and I say next. So this one, I'm just going to leave everything as automatic, but here it's just asking you the styles that you want to use, the, the relatable style that you want to use, and if you want to give your view frame group a name. So I'm just going to leave automatic. It's fine. Those are the fine things that you can change later on when your long section have populated. And then the next one is the match lines. So, you know, normally when you're holding a drawing and let's say, for a road remember a road is a continuous thing so if the first drawing is from chain age zero to chain age 500 and the next drawing starts at chain age 500 to chain age one kilometer so basically you just want um the first drawing to tell the contractor that it ends here at chain age 500 but um please see drawing 002 one for example so 
it will have a match line to say at the end of this drawing begins that drawing and it's easy to read the two drawings together so this is what it's all about and it's asking you if you want to give it a name do you want them to be on the left or the right so i'm just going to leave also everything here as automatic and i say create view frames you will see something has changed on my screen i now have two view frames so the the first one starts at chain edge zero and it's going to end at about chain edge 280. And the next one starts at chain edge 160 to about three, that like the last uh, chain edge. The reason for this is because I chose a smaller scale because if I said one in a thousand, it means everything was just going to fit on one drawing. I just wanted to show you guys that depending on the scale that you choose, um, it also shows you how your drawings are going to look like. You can always go back change it to one in a thousand and have everything on one view frame, change it to one in 200, even create a new, um, new scale and say one in 200 and have like three drawings. It's all up to you. So as soon as you have your view frames, you go back to your output tab. You'll see there's one that says create sheets. If you click on it, it will ask you um, to have your view frame group. Normally this is also, it automates that one. Uh, the number of layouts that you want to have per drawing. I want one layout per drawing so that if it, it's two drawings like this, I'm going to have two sheets. If it's 10 drawings, you're going to have 10 sheets just like that. And then you go to the next one. It's asking you sheet sets. Do you want to put it on a new set or you want to add to existing sheet set? Normally, if all of you are working on the same road, it's too long. You've been given different changes. You can add it to an existing sheet set and you all root, reroute all your sheet sets to a common name so that all of you know that, oh, chain it zero to a hundred was done by so-and-so, but it's on the drawing. Then from here to there, it's done by so-and-so, but it's on the sheet set manager itself. We say next. You'll see here, it's asking you to choose your profile view style and also your band set style. So I'm going to leave them at automatic and I'm going to say create sheets. So it says uh, to complete this process, it's just going to save your drawing. I say, okay. So now it's asking me to select my profile view origin. I'm just going to put them next to this cross section. I'm going to put them there. So it's populating the sheet sets. It's creating the sheet sets. So if my um, road was too long, this was going to take forever. Chances are I'd have to leave it here, go have my coffee and, 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 but because it's only two sheet sets, it's going to be quicker. You'll see just now that it's done. If you come here, you'll see there's this page that popped up. It says there's sheet one and sheet two. So I'm just going to click on sheet one. See how it looks like. So there is the sheet one. Still processing. There is my sheet one. As you can see, it's having the layout, like I said, it will have, and also the long 